The Galactic Empire's hierarchy consisted of a complex bureaucratic structure of authorities, carefully answering to Emperor Palpatine, who led with complete authority. The Emperor cleverly ensured no single bureaucratic agency had the means to threaten his own authority. By dividing them in such a way, they often worked towards differing aims. This video is the first in a series from Legends Material that reviews how the Galactic Empire's highest levels of government were structured, and what the component agencies were responsible for in serving the Emperor. Moving swiftly on, the most senior group of bureaucrats were the Imperial Advisors who assisted the Emperor in the running of the galaxy. They were indeed the closest to Palpatine and were all elite members of the Imperial Court as political bureaucrats who owned their political title to Palpatine's regime as part of the Empire's formation. A select few were even elected onto the Imperial Ruling Council such as Ars Denga and Saint Pestige as well as a few others to mention. Although there were many advisors assigned to political administration which included appointing planetary moths, the Emperor ensured no single individual gained enough power to challenge his overriding authority by assigning his advisors to administer a rival's priority sector of systems. Palpatine would only ever consult with a few of them at any given time, cleverly orchestrating a culture between his advisors that meant they always vied for his favour over their rivals. The next two levels of Imperial Administration were the Commission for the Preservation of the New Order, also known as Comp Nor, and the titles of Grand Moff and the Moffs. Comp Nor was led firstly by the Emperor himself to shape the system of government and approve the key members of the Select Committee, including Crew of Andra and Eisen Ilraz. Comp Nor's influence became so persuasive that the Imperial bureaucracy was under his complete control and thus absolutely dedicated to the whims of the Emperor. The New Order intently sought to build its ideals into the very fabric of galactic society and raised young and loyal Imperial citizens by implanting members into bureaucratic governments of countless systems across the galaxy. Once the Imperial Senate was dissolved in 0 BBY, Compnor without question took complete control of bureaucratic policy. Even the regional moths who governed their own sectors had many Compnor loyalists watching their loyalty to the Emperor. Compnor consisted of a myriad of main subsections including the Coalition for Improvements, Comp Force, the Sub-Adult Group, the Coalition for Progress and the Imperial Security Bureau. In the Empire's hierarchy, the Grand Moffs who were appointed by Emperor Palpatine himself were powerful Imperial officer figures who governed an oversector which consisted of a number of sectors controlled by several Moffs. Grand Moffs were charged with the resources to quell any civil unrest which threatened multiple cross-boundary sectors. An oversector was often known as a priority sector, and to stop any problems gaining strength under a Grand Moff's watch, they controlled the military might of two sector groups, and so they possessed the authority to override the command of any Moff of a sector. The Moffs commanded an entire sector of several planets, and oversaw their security with control over a military sector group. Moffs reported to the Emperor, but would also answer to the Imperial Advisor for the Sector. They received their information from subordinate planetary governors, who represented the Empire upon an individual planet. The next level of Imperial agencies were the Abicurate, or more commonly known as the Imperial Intelligence, the Imperial Military and the Planetary Governors. Upon the Empire's formation, the Intelligence Agency known as Ubiquirate was created from four separate organisations that existed during the Republic era and was swiftly reorganised by Palpatine with the Ubiquire acting as the leading body and was to be known as Imperial Intelligence. The speed of change unnerved his advisors as their support leaned towards the creation of Comp Nor. Imperial Intelligence viewed Comp Nor as a waste of valuable inexperienced resources and even risking the Empire's protection. A power struggle then ensued between the Imperial Intelligence and its rival within Comp Nor, known as the ISB or Imperial Security Bureau. The Grand Moffs favoured their rivalry between the two agencies and used their rivalry to their own political means. Internally, the Ubiquirate formed the leadership element of the Imperial Intelligence by setting a broad, wide-ranging overall strategy, leaving the five subsections of Imperial Intelligence to formulate their own specific appropriate objectives. Examples of the subsections included activities such as Complink, Sector Plexus, the Internal Organisation Bureau, the Analysis Bureau and the Intelligence Bureau which in turn all consisted of many subsections. Another powerful part of the Imperial machine was the military. The rise of the Empire was very much held together by a swift expansion of the Navy and the armed forces, which built upon the existing Republic's strength in this area. 
The Empire's huge naval force had the same objective as the former Republic's navy, which was to provide security protection to the galaxy from outside invaders. To ensure the prosperity of commerce to member worlds was secure, the navy was required to resolve any conflicts on behalf of the imperial government. A planetary governor was an imperial agent who represented the Empire's authority on a single world. This title held command over imperial troops garrisoned on the planet. Their authority was only officially over political and military arms, with the military taking little direction from the governor when handling conflict within the world's limits. A governor's overriding concern was for the welfare of their planetary citizens, and were often expected to lead on local affairs by adhering to imperial rule. Additionally, they were expected to adhere to imperial policy. For the next Galactic Empire Hierarchy video, we will look at the detailed breakdown of Compnor's inner workings. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, long live the Empire, and as always, may the Force be with you.